So the Houston Rockets going into the All-Star break have a whopping seven game losing streak. And really the reason it's been this bad is because there's been a lot of underlying issues that the Rockets haven't really addressed. And we're going to go over those issues. I think I have around three issues that I have to talk about. And overall, just seeing how they can improve it overall. So what's up, I'm JDC. We're talking Rockets today. So if that's what you'd like to see, drop a like down below, press the sub button. I'd appreciate it. And let's get into the video talking about the Houston Rockets and their problems. So... Honestly, there's been a lot of issues watching Houston Rockets, you know, especially with me being a big Houston Rockets fan. I have, you know, basically identified most of their issues. And really the one big issue that they really need to address is defense. You know, they've been one of the worst defensive teams in the league and in transition. I think they're one of the worst transition defensive teams in the league. So honestly, defense is something that is really important in the game of basketball obviously defense leads to offense and when they don't have defense then the other team's gonna score like last night the clippers didn't have their two best players in paul george and Kawhi leonard and they still scored a whopping 142 points against the houston rockets now that's definitely unacceptable but we do got to take in that this is a pretty young team and you know with that aside this team is still very horrible on defense you know we have kpj who has taken strides to become a better defender overall but overall isn't the best defender same thing with jalen green he's been taking some more steps into the right direction for you know playing better defense same thing with jay sean tate he's been our best defender this season he's been able to guard one through five christian wood i think we all know that he basically sucks at defense and you know looking at the other guys garrison matthews gordon they're pretty below average defenders so there hasn't been too much defensive improvement from this team there's been so many times when watching the games where i've been begging steven silas to just change the defensive plans just make some improvements on defense hopefully man i mean watching games it's been such a struggle because the defense has been so bad and steven silas he hasn't been able to improve the team defensively so if we can get a guy that can at least play a high level of defense either through the draft or through free agency looking at last night's game zubak had 10 rebounds over Christian Wood 7 which shouldn't even be allowed because Zubak he's a fringe starter compared to Christian Wood who basically I think he's better than Zubak but on offense he's obviously better but on defense Christian Wood just straight sucks and it's really just the little things on defense that help you know basically just knowing who your check is you know sticking on your man playing defense and overall just having that spatial awareness of where your man is and being able to just play great on ball defense so I think if we just get a player through free agency or through the draft i think it will really help us in the long run i think we go the draft route i think players such as jabbar smith chet holmgren would be pretty nice obviously those two defensive studs right there paolo could be pretty cool you know he's more offensive than defense but he still would give us an interior presence we really just need someone that can guard bigs you know because jay sean tate he is 6'4 playing the power forward position so he already is undersized so if we can get someone that can at least help jay sean tate make it easier for him to play defense and overall someone that can just guard the paint then i would be all for because christian wood isn't able to really just stick with the big guys in the paint and he gets killed by people such as zoo box so i don't know let me guys know what you think about our defense our defense is one of the worst and really just the improvement on defense really just starts with the players and the coaching next but getting into the second issue there's two ideas and i, re I really just mixed into one because they basically mean the same thing but have different aspects but we have scoring distribution and scoring hierarchy so yeah i think we'll start off with scoring distribution the amount of shots that Eric Gordon, a 33-year-old veteran on a rebuilding team, has taken is absolutely ridiculous compared to Jalen Green, who is our number two pick. And I want to say against the Suns game, he put up around like 24 shots and Jalen Green only put up around 12 shots in that game. So I just think it's absurd that we are favoring a veteran over our second overall pick that we should be developing on offense, especially with him being one of the worst players this year. So I think... Taking strides in the right direction means getting our guys, our young guys at that. More shots, you know, get Josh Christopher in there, get Jalen Green, Shangun, Usman Garuba when he hopefully comes back next season or maybe at the end of this season. Hopefully get Usman Garuba some more shots. And honestly, I mean, the, the shot distribution is really just out of whack. If you're looking at it right now, Dennis Schroeder has been added into that shot distribution. Eric Gordon, Jalen Green, KPJ, Christian Wood, Josh Christopher, Garrison Matthews. So that's around seven mouths to feed. And that's just too much on a rebuilding team. So we need to start cutting out some minutes you know cut down the minutes of the vets and really just start running the offense through the young guys so uh getting into the next point which is the scoring hierarchy 
This is something that I have also noticed about the Rockets is that they've been giving minutes to Gordon and Schroeder, who are both vets, like I said. And, you know, we need to play all of our young guys a lot of minutes so they are able to really just flourish. Because, you know, last game against the Clippers, Josh Christopher played around 26 minutes off the bench and scored 13 points, 4 assists, and 3 steals. So if he's able to do that in 26 minutes, then imagine what he's doing in the starting lineup or being the sixth man or even getting 30 minutes off the bench. So really just Steven Silas. I like Steven Silas as a coach, but on a rebuilding team, there's just really no way that I see him moving forward. Now, the players do like him as a coach and as a person but overall i mean steven silas he hasn't been able to make too many adjustments to this team i think the one reason he hasn't been able to adjust to shangun and jalen green is because he didn't really expect them to both be really this good this season because as much hate as we give jalen green for being inefficient for most of the games and really just being inconsistent he's been one of the better rookies this season and overall his scoring output has really just exceeded expectations you know Honestly, I was expecting like a 16 points per game score and then Jalen Green. That was kind of unrealistic because he is a rookie, but he's been good in the last few games. He's been averaging around like 17 points per game in the last eight games and shooting like 48% from the field and like 43 from three. I, I don't know like where that stat line was. I think it was on Twitter. He's been one of the more efficient players in the last few games and really he's been able to adjust to the NBA pretty well. And same thing with Alperen Shangun. He's been one of the most surprising players on this Houston Rockets team and really just in the draft as a whole because he was you know picked 16th overall the Houston Rockets traded two protective first round picks in exchange for the 16th pick which materialized into Shangun so I think Steven Silas the one real thing about him is that he hasn't been able to adjust to how great Jalen Green and Alperin Shangun is now looking at next season hopefully he does start to address that issue where Shangun should start working in the post and you know run the offense through him because he's been able to show that he can run the offense and has some flashes of being able to have that great court vision so yeah I mean the Houston Rockets there's been a lot of issues you know these are really just the main issues that I've seen personally but overall there's been some other issues you know roster wise uh, Raphael Stone you can really just address that uh, the trade deadline but yeah, I mean, Steven Silas, I think it all just starts with Silas and the coaching staff and then the players. But overall, these are all problems that they can really just fix on their own and really just make a huge improvement overall. I mean, KPJ, he's been making strides as becoming the primary point guard on this team and his court vision has been so much better in the last few games. Obviously, he's been injured, but he's been making strides to become a better point guard. I don't know. The Houston Rockets, they do have a lot of issues and I'm really just hoping next season we are a respectable team. If we do land within the top five, we know we can get Jabari Smith, Chet Holmgren, Paolo Bancaro. Who else is there? I think Kendall Brown is there, right? JD Davison. There's a lot of players. It really just starts with player development. If Jalen Green starts putting on some more muscle, you know, working on his game in the offseason and overall just straight have that work ethic, then I think he's going to be able to make a huge impact on the Houston Rockets team next year, kind of like how Anthony Edwards is right now. And hopefully he does put on some muscle. His work ethic is out of this world. I think there was a video of him it was a game where he was pretty inefficient from the field and after the game he was getting some shots up so he has that dog mentality that mentality to just keep working and i think he's gonna prove everyone wrong someday where jalen green still has all that upside you know he is only 20 years old so he has that scoring potential and that scoring upside it really just it's just a matter of him being able to put it together so yeah i mean that's really all i wanted to talk about for the houston rockets they haven't been too interesting in the last few games but hopefully they can get it going pretty soon they do verse let's see they do verse the orlando magic on february 25th so that's after the all-star break today is the skills challenge so hopefully we can see some jalen green stuff in the dunk contest and hopefully we can see him win so this video that's the end of the video i'm jdc and my peace